Hi guys, my name is Gunnar James Gull and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. We are going to continue with our first beginner's hospital over at Hogsport today. We did get the offer to move on over to Lower Bullocks, but I think that I want to continue continue this Hogsport hospital, maybe try and even get it up to a three-star hospital before we move on. We'll see. Let's enter the hospital and and we'll see. Okay, so are we on pause at the moment? I think, yeah, we were on pause. Okay, so let's see. Where, where were we up to? What was going on? I would like to try and get some kind of emergencies coming in. My computer is running real, real slow today for some reason. I have no idea, but we'll just, I mean, I suppose we'll just persevere. It'll be fine. We need to cure 25 patients. We need to earn lots of money and we need to get hospital to level six. We're currently on level four. So, I mean, maybe we can just add, how many GP rooms have we got? Have we got two GPs? Doctor needed oh, in GP's doctor office. Doctor needed in GP's office. So maybe, what about another pharmacy? Just I'm just thinking of like busy rooms that get busy. Maybe we should just add in. Or well, actually, do you know what? Let's add in some items to make to make the hospital nicer. We've got a couple of benches around. <laughs> I just heard what sounded like a little bit of a rude noise then. Let's maybe, do you know what I'd like to do actually? Let's, I'd like to move this desk further back. Let's make the hospital look a bit nicer because it didn't, it doesn't, I don't feel like it looks as nice as it could look. I know we need a reception. I'm just moving things around. Hang on, let's, is that? center that's that's about center and then i'm gonna make like a nice oh i didn't place it down <laughs> i thought i placed it down okay let's place it there and then i'm gonna make like a little front front reception area with some desks not some desks some benches and hopefully and we'll add some plants and things and hopefully we'll just increase the level just by adding like making it nicer i think that should work let's add that in there and then on the other side what does that little symbol mean above oh it's gone there's a symbol above the no janitor's money, head no, no money no treatment we have too many janitors we still have too many janitors we really should probably get rid of one but i don't really know who to get rid of Whenever you click to be quite honest, of computer, <laughs> right? Let's add. The nails always flies into the oh, look, okay. We didn't see this last time. The green, the okay. We need to add loads more plants. Let's add I don't know. some plants around the place. No the knows. green is where it's nice because of the plants. Oh, yeah, let's add. Oh, yeah, we're now level five. Hospital level has increased. Keep expanding to attract patients and staff. So, by adding some nice things around, it's gonna. Let's just add plants everywhere, so everywhere has this green, this green stuff, because that'll be nice, right? Let's put a plant here. They're quite big, these plants, aren't they? I'd like some different plants, in all honesty. We probably can get different ones with our, um, what are they called? The K-Dosh or something? Q-Dosh? Can't remember. Just plants, plants everywhere. These janitors will be busy cleaning, uh, not cleaning, watering these plants that we're putting everywhere. Let's put one in this room over here. <laughs> this first hospital is a bit of a sham. Maybe the ward needs some. Let's put another one there, one over here. You just put loads of plants and it's just increasing the Perfect. One in this corner, and then I think maybe, maybe that will do. Now, what else can we add? If we add a drinks machine, does that help with the uh, with the hospital level? I'm assuming it will. 
How do we get to another level? Right, I'm going to add another. Patients found violating hospital policy will be asked to stop. <laughs> Patients who violated hospital policy will be asked to stop. Let's add another pharmacy. I feel like that is a potentially a room that could get quite busy. Maybe, I mean, this is a big space. We probably don't need a pharmacy this big. But, whoa, let's add pharmacy in there and then add this in and then let's stick some windows we want prestige three i think the next time i'm offered oh, i don't know i don't know whether to to try and go for a three star hospital i feel like i want to go for a three star hospital but i also really want to move on to the next hospital they don't know what to do. Let's add a plant in here and a filing cabinet for the nurse. Also, I want to have, I'm not sure, have we had an emergency? I don't think we've had an emergency yet. I started playing, um, I because I was just loving it so much, I started another game save, one that I can just kind of enjoy and play. Oh, let's add some of these. Oh, where have they gone? The light-headed... Light-headed posters. Did we add some already? I don't think we did. We unlocked these. <laughs> when did we unlock them, actually? I'm not sure when we unlocked them. Definitely we need one in... In the light-headed room. We should put a couple of them in here. We've cured 10 patients. I don't feel like we cure patients very quickly. Did you know if a machine isn't maintained properly, it can catch fire? Whoa. A janitor will then have to find a fire extinguisher to put out the fire. We should definitely make sure we have... Okay, hang on. Let's make sure we have fire extinguishers around then because... Just in case something does happen... We want the, uh, the janitor to be able to find fire extinguisher pretty quickly maybe i don't know what i've got let's put one in there one in there there we go so this is what we need i think this is what we need to get to a two-star hospital right i'm pretty sure oh let's complete the complete the pharmacist <laughs> the pharmacy to drug mixer to it's broken complain. what does that mean after four rudderless years Two point I haven't been broken when we've only just placed it down. Is that what that means? So vote for four Have we got a of Tabitha Winsock in the mayoral guy? Tabitha Winsock. Wrong, but stable. That fixes machines. Um, oh, staff list. Use the staff list to quickly find people based on their job, ability, and qualifications. See what each person is currently doing and keep an eye on their happiness and energy. Click on someone in the list to jump to that person in the hospital. Use the job filters to view each staff type separately. Click on the arrows by each column heading by each column heading to sort the list based on that column. Use the pay review button to review salaries and pay satisfaction for each staff member. Use the job assignment button to control which jobs each person is allowed to do. Oh, okay, so let's look only at janitors. Allows. Hang on. So, repairing deluxe. Okay, so looking for work. Oh yeah, pay review. Job. Oh, job assignment. See which staff members are qualified to carry out each type of job in the hospital and control who is a, and control who is allowed to do each job. For example, if you only want your best staff working in GP's office, you can disable that job for junior staff. Oh, that's good. By default, each staff member is allowed to do every job as long as they are qualified for it. Use the buttons to enable and disable each job for the person. Oh, that's good. So, repair machines. So, all our janitors can repair machines, but only one can upgrade. Everyone unblocks the toilets, restocks machines. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so let's check out our doctors. GP's office allowed, deluxe clinic allowed. So they're allowed. We've only got two doctors. 
Is that enough? I mean, I don't feel like anyone's... We should check and see if there's queues. And then for the nurses, pharmacy, general diagnosis and ward, they can all... Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that we can do that. Let's just check this message. We got a message. Oh, ward emergency. A group of ward patients have been stranded after a bungle Meditech hospital imploded and are now looking for further treatment. Will be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. Should we have them sent here? I love these emergencies. Right, the challenge is to cure five patients with bed face. The treatment room is the ward. We've got one in the hospital. That's fine. Time limit is 90 days and the rewards we get 10 rep, 10k and 10,000. Yes. Let's accept them. So let's just check. Hang on. Let's just check on the ward. Have we got a queue for the ward or anything? No, we haven't. So we're good. And we've got a nurse in the ward. Maybe we can add, can we add more staff or something? Extra staff. We could put an extra number of staff in for the emergency. Oh, this is cool. I wonder if that should hopefully like make Dr. sure that we go through, through the emergency people. Quick. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne, bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the Let's newly opened look. hospital, oh, we've got the, just yeah, ward turn up that volume, because nothing drowns Bye. out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! I'm sped up. I feel like I'm sped up. Normal speed. No, that's okay. Oh, this is good, having sticking two nurses in there, and then... Yeah, we can get these patients in really quickly. This works well. Look at all the emergency people. What have they got? Bed face. Aw. Oh. Bed face. Chance of cure, 90%. Oh, my goodness. I hope that we... Uh, I hope that we manage to cure them. How many more people... We've got one more. Look, Finley Wiz is in the queue. This guy out here. One more emergency guy to do. Or not, like, to get in because all of these people are emergencies that are in the ward at the moment. Nurse we've got five beds. In general diagnosis. Nurse needed. We can't come. We've got an emergency of bed face going on. You'll just have to wait. <laughs> we need to get all of these done as quickly as we can. Cured. One. Nice. We cured the first patient. Aw. Oh, 5,000 we get for that. That's good. We're easy. Oh, no. Failed. They're going to die. Uh-oh. Oh, hang on. I went too far. Still figuring out the controls. This person's gonna die. Oh no. That's not, do we have to cure them all? Oh, we've cured two. One's failed. That is not good. Our general diagnosis person. Let's take off. We only want one member of staff. Nurse to the pharmacy. Oh, nurse to the pharmacy. All the, how many nurses did we have? Did we have three nurses? I think we had three nurses, didn't we? Let's let's just check. Yeah, we got three nurses, so we're good now. I think that we're oh oh, there's just this guy. What is he doing? Is he queuing for something or he's feeling bored? I'm not surprised. Oh, it's because we've only got one. Ah, oh, we need another. How, once we've built a room, how do we... I wonder if we have to... Oh, look, items. Yeah, items. Let's get another screen. I didn't realise that everybody needed to use the screen. We'll have a screen down at this end of the wall. Oh, no, a health inspector's arriving. 
stick a screen you know, there. I've been humming that tune to myself all week. Which is Will anyone go over there? Because yeah, there's a huge screen. Once they're cured, they need to go and use oh, well, more catchy music that coming screen. Right up. That's okay. Where's this health inspector guy? Is this him? I don't know who the health inspector is. Hopefully... Hopefully things go okay whilst he's here. No one dies or anything. <laughs> we should complete this. This guy is... Hopefully going to be cured by the time we've got... What, we've got like 20 days left? That should be okay. Oh no, we've got no one at the... Oh, here's the... The health inspector is... Oh, we've cured 50 patients. Nice. That's not good that... The health inspector is waiting in the queue and we haven't got our, um, what's it called? Administrator? Assistant? Where is she? Resting. Is she on the toilet? Come on. Should we pick her up? Oh. Get back out here. This is important. We've got an inspector. Oh. Go to the reception, Lucy. Should we allow him to jump the queue? How do we do the queue? Like, I don't actually know how to do the queue <laughs> for that. So, he's there now. That's okay. He's at the front of the queue. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Look at this guy behind him. Okay, fingers crossed. All should be okay. Right, let's I don't think we actually cured Oh, okay, right. We've cured far from well, special report. Well done. We cured enough of the patient group. This has helped our reputation and we've been sent a reward. We cured four out of five, so we didn't have to cure them all. Oh, okay, that's good. I thought we had to do them all. Um so we've got that money and the K and the rep and everything. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Hospital reputation is great. This will attract even more patients and staff. That's good. We just need to get our hospital up to level five now. But I don't even know really what I need to add for that, to be honest. Other than, like, just more items. I feel like... Let's just add another leaflet stand. I don't know. Like, it... That doesn't you seem to go really up. Mean. Maybe some more benches will be good for the hospital level. I can't even tell if that's... We have too many janitors. I know, I know, I know. I don't see that it's going up, to be honest. Health inspectors visit in the pharmacy. Hopefully all is going well in there. And we've got another letter. I don't know how we get... I think... Do we just get it up by just adding more things? I think probably the best thing is to add another room, to be honest. Staff promotion. Okay. Ready for promotion from intern janitor to junior janitor. Hmm. I mean... Yeah. Let's just promote. That's fine. Should we do... I mean, a GP's office is always a, another good thing to have. I feel like, like we've already got two. We don't really need another one but it will definitely take our level up anyway so let's we can't add it there so let's add it there have a snack We'll be right back. <laughs> Have a snack. And the news today. We'll be Conditions right back. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting okay, worse just add, every day. Apparently, add patients are in. just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling Bang ceilings cabinet. as any diseases. And then diseases. we need an extinguisher. We always need an extinguisher. Down. Just in case. Let's stick some windows in because they do like their windows. We're only at prestige level one with this GP's office i feel like it's only going to be at prestige two to be quite honest by the time we're finished that'll do let's just add it does that make oh 
how on earth do we get our hospital up to level six? I mean, like, there's no, not really much more space. Larger rooms. Feel, yeah, I know that, but. Mm, how do we, I want to change this room. I want to make it bigger. I just want to. Oh, hang on. Move it here. Ooh. I want to make it bigger. How do I make it bigger? Oh. Ah, like this? Okay, that's cool. Okay, the only thing is the door needs to move. And then, the yeah, that'll work. Oh, do you want to sell? No, let's. What's invalid? The window will be invalid. This will be invalid. Oh, the things have got little symbols on them. The things that are invalid, okay. And then this window here. Oh, no, I picked up the whole room. Yikes. Please be just aware. Pick up. Not being aware costs lives. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. And then what else is invalid? That, that should be everything. Is that done? What what else? Um Whoa. Oh, we can do. Okay, our rooms don't have to be I didn't know that, that we didn't have to have square rooms. That's cool. Right, I'm just going to... Yes, let's just sell the invalid items. I don't know what the invalid items were. Doctor, that's cool, clinic. we can do... Okay, that changes everything. We can <laughs> have different shapes of rooms and things. Although, honestly, that's going to be a pest, that little bit. Let's just edit this because we don't really want this bit here. Um, let's move that back over there. And then, how do we get rid of... Oh, here, look. Minus... Oh, yeah, minus this bit. Oh, my goodness, this is cool. Okay, that's... that's Okay, my next hospital is going to look so much better than this one. So much better. Right, we've got another... Another GP's office, I'm literally just adding anything to try and get. Let's just add another room. Anything that what we can a add. Smashing day for a bit Let's of add another gut general I mean, who doesn't like gardening. Just anything Digging that will... up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost the, the smell level it of the hospital nope, is good wait. with me. The sewage pipes Let's burst go. again. <laughs> oh no, no this person mistake. dying. Anyway, no. keep those fingers green. Poor guy. Maybe I should have been concentrating more on <laughs> people who may be dying rather than just building my hospital bigger. <laughs> nice plant in here. Another nice plant. So many plants. These janitors are going to be very busy. Right, surely that's going to take our hospital want to sell an invalid item i mean yeah go on oh there we go okay dear hospital administrator two star hospital congratulations your hospital has been awarded a two star rating by the two point health ministry if you proceed at your current pace you will have achieved everything that you can in your founding establishment soon enough i can sense your confidence inflating carefully don't build yourself up for an even greater fall We've unlocked salty snacks machine. Okay, honestly, I really want to get a three-star hospital, so I'm gonna continue and see what we have to do. So we've got to cure 30 patients. Oh, that's not so bad. We've got a hospital value of a million. Let's speed this up, actually. We can go faster. We've got a hospital value of a million. We only need 750. We've got to earn 400,000, and we've got to cure 30 patients, which, honestly, I don't feel is a problem we may need some more staff members maybe we probably need 
let's hire like another nurse and another doctor possibly Lucinda Grant she mm, yeah let's just because we've got more Please go GP GP rooms and just done diagnosis and things. We built another pharmacist, and so we're going to need probably. Oh, look at this nurse! Five star nurse. She's Chloe Grot. She's amazing. She likes to argue. Do you know what? She can argue because she is a very good nurse. Oh, it's December thirty first. It's going to be awards. Yearly review. I like the yearly review. Okay. Get ready. Are we going to win any awards? I'm just going to open all of them this time because it takes ages if you don't open them all. So let's open up. Oh, okay. We did better than last year. Last year we just got Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, and Employer of the Year. But this year we got those three plus Assistant of the Year. Well done, Assistant. I can't remember her name. Lucy McCarthy. And Most Prestigious Hospital. That's pretty cool. Okay, excellent. Maintenance announcement. Maintenance. Toilets need routine servicing. Of course toilets need. I think that we should be good if we just keep it running on fast speed. I don't think, I don't foresee any problems in getting to three stars. Particularly, we've just got a cure. 27 more patients earn about 350,000 more money. I'm going to have a little look. Whilst we're just running this on fast, I'm going to have a little look. Uh, oh, here we go. Finance. In the Finances tab, you can access the Business Overview screen for a deep dive on all aspects of the hospital. You can also adjust the prices you charge in the hospital and take out a loan if you need more cash. Okay, so let's, let's take a little look. Overview. Whoa, okay. Overview screen. In the business overview screen, you can review the hospital finances, staff overview, patient overview, and hospital event log. You can also view leaderboards, comparing your hospital to those owned by other organisations, and see the awards the hospital has won in previous years. Okay. So. Which is my hospital? Oh, what does... Hmm... Oh, profit, loss, revenue. Ah, okay. This is... I was thinking this is interesting. I'm sure it is interesting. It's quite a lot of information to take in at the moment. It's just a lot of colour. Expenses, revenue, finance, staff. Oh, okay. Staff. Staff overview. Oh, break policy. When they... Ah, so we, should, we could make it so that they go... I would rather them take, would we rather them take more frequent? One of the three doctors can take a break. I'd rather take more frequent, but less often, I think. Let's say the nurses, I don't know. This lady. Okay, that's interesting. Eight staff are ready for training. We haven't got training yet. Hopefully we get it in the next hospital. Okay, that, that all looks quite interesting. Patient, patient overview. It's going pretty well. Reputation is really good. Okay, that's all good. Maybe we could get, it would be good if we could get another emergency coming in. We want it on full speed, I think. Hopefully we are. We want to be running on fast speed. Yeah, it'll be good to get another. Oh, in fact, maybe we have another emergency. I always miss these down here. Oh, inspection report. Uh, Mr. Jobsworth has sent us a report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages long, so we haven't read it. But the conclusion reads, one of our county's better medical destinations. Oh, that's good. So we got 5,000 plus 8 rep plus 10k. That's excellent. Oh, we've got a pharmacy emergency. Okay, cure five patients with bog warts in the pharmacy. We can do that. We've got um, no problem. Hopefully, let's just put it at normal speed. What's our cues for our pharmacy and things? There's nobody queuing for that one. And there's a nurse there. That's good. And where's our other pharmacy? Oh, well, yeah, I'll be over here. Our first pharmacy that we built. Uh, oh, two of the emergency people. 
Well, they arrived by a car. I wish they arrived by helicopter. Do you remember in Theme Hospital when they would arrive by a helicopter? Maybe they will when we move further on. So two of them are going to that one. Are some of them going over here? Oh, I clicked on the guy instead. Yeah, we've got someone coming over here. We should definitely, definitely do that. No problem. As long as the nurses don't just go off on a break or whatever, uh, we should be fine. For the machines break, maybe the machine might break or something. We should be good. We've got five to do. That will improve our reputation well and also just give us some more cured patients because we've done 10 out of 30. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to go and increase the prices maybe. Priceless. Oh, here we go. So adjust the prices you charge for diagnosis, treatment and other things in the hospital. On establishing a new hospital, the prices default to the market rate for that location. Visitors will be willing to pay these prices. Increasing prices will bring in more money, but can damage your reputation and cause patients to storm out. Okay, decreasing prices will bring in less money, but can boost your reputation. Maybe I'm just going to... Oh, okay, I put everything up by 10%. That should help bring in a bit more money, right? Increase everything by 10%. Staff announcement. Doctor, you've won. That sounds good. Yeah. So then, yeah, could we still need to earn loads of money? If somebody just died. Oh no, that patient just died. They were an emergency person. No, that's not good. But that's okay. Two in progress. We've cured two. One has failed. Two in progress. <laughs> Yikes. That's okay. Never mind. Oh no. That's the sound of somebody dying, right? Doon, doon. Yeah, it's this person. Aww. Oh no, look at them. Poor thing. Oh, they've become a ghost. Treatment failed for lightheadedness. I don't like it when people die. Maybe we should put down the... Do we put enough people in the hospital? Are enough people visiting us? I feel like not enough people are visiting us. I don't know whether it's better to have the prices high and then I'm assuming then less people will visit us if the prices are high or the price is low and have more people come in. Oh, we've got a letter. I think it will be about the special report. Oh yes, well done. We've cured enough of the patient group. This has helped our reputation and we've been sent an award. Excellent. We cured four out of five. So it was just that one that we killed. <laughs> Whoops. So we've cured 23 out of 30 now. And we're more than halfway on our amount of money that we have to earn. Oh, okay, we've cured our 30 patients. We've just now got to get 121,000. And then we will be a three-star hospital. I've just zoomed out. Just to kind of see what the area looked like. Because I don't think I've zoomed out all the way before. Pretty cool. I feel like I'm having less people coming in, so I'm going to, even though we need the money, I'm going to take the prices of everything down. Oh, good news. We've cured 100 patients in total. Each cure boosts our reputation, will attract, which will attract even more patients to the hospital. Yeah, I'm going to just take it down. I definitely feel like less people will come in. Career goal achieved. Repair 100 machines to collect your reward. Go to the career goals list on the map oh i've never been there before we'll have to find that when we go out onto the map i've no idea is this the map oh return to the map one new level yes yeah, so we can do one new level oh we've got another letter oh emergency award emergency we five patients with a bed face i mean yes let's definitely definitely do that and should we add another i like this that we can add how do we do it? I've completely forgotten. Was it in stats? Let's add another nurse in there. I really like that feature that we can add additional staff when like when emergencies come in or whatever. Cool. Q. So yeah, see, our um our people are coming with bed face. A quite alarming contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am not sure if actually we're going to be able to... Oh, we've got a letter. Oh, health inspection. Uh, impress the VP. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to finish this emergency because we only need to earn 5,165 more. And we're still currently treating them, so... I mean, I don't think it, I don't suppose it really matters whether we manage to treat them all or not. Almost there. We're nearly at our first three-star hospital. <gasps> oh, here we go. Dear hospital administrator, three-star hospital. Congratulations. Your hospital has been awarded a three-star rating by the two-point health ministry. I hope for your sake that you remember how you were able to concoct such a model institution because the county will expect you to repeat this feat ad infinitum. May this free you from gumption and fill you with nerves. Yours, fragrantly, <laughs> health minister. What's his name? Tarquin Foxbridge. But okay, so we, ooh, we've unlocked the new agent. Right, so we are going to um, leave this hospital and go over to the next hospital definitely so let's open the map up and we are gonna go over now you can see now we've got the three star i'm glad that we did that we can now move over to lower bullets but i'm gonna do that in the next episode so thank you so much for watching this this game i think has still has 10 percent off over on steam if you do want to go and get it i will put a link down below in the description i am loving it i hope you are loving it too Thank you so much for watching, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you soon for another video. Bye!